My name is James. Hi, my name is Nat. My name is Alex. Hi, my name is Priscilla. Hi, I'm Kyle. Hi, I'm Stephanie. Hi, my name is Jason. Hi, my name is Disha. Hi, I'm Vasu. Hi, my name is Emily. My name is Jenna. Hi, my name is Drew. Hi, I'm Alex. Hi, my name is Jacob. Hi, my name is Swappy. Hi, I'm Harrison. Hi, my name is Justin. Hi, my name is Steven. I'm Will. Hi, my name is Josh. Hi, my name is Jay. My name is Abraham. My name is Jessica. So originally, my dad just put me in AYT telling me it was good for me, and then I kind of fell in love with technology as I progressed through it, so I'm kind of happy that he did put me in. Initially, I joined because teachers told me to join, <laughs> but it was a really good experience afterwards because I got more specialized classes geared towards computer science. I was uh, really interested in video games at the time, so I wanted to like learn more about them, especially the programming behind them. My brother was in AOIT at the time and told me how cool it was. Because I was interested in programming and I thought it was a good way to get my foot in the door and really get acclimated with the field. I was interested in computer programming since I was a freshman and my older brother is in the program as well. Um, I did the networking and programming pathways, so I took many classes like with the Cisco Netacad and um, programming classes that included the AP computer science course. I took the programming pathway. I loved every minute of it. It was all uh, object-oriented programming mostly, and I went all the way through Programming 3, the University of Maryland class. I completed the programming pathway. Um, the coursework was, it was a lot per week, but it was also really useful. My pathway is the programming pathway and I did a lot of graphical user interface stuff and a lot of data structure stuff and a lot of like real world ap application programming concepts and what I really liked about um, programming is how we could how I could see these applications being used on a daily basis. So I took the networking pathway and my classes are really nice. Uh, we had a lot of hands-on activities, so that was really amazing, and I had the chance to try it all out during internships, so that helped me out as well. So I took the programming pathway, and one of my favorite projects was the HTTP server, because it kind of combined uh, what I learned in my web class with Java, so I thought that was cool. I'm in the programming pathway. I've taken four programming courses, um, three in Java <laughs> and one in C++. Um, I really enjoyed them. Internship at APX Labs, which was uh, they program software for Google Glass. Uh, the National Institute of Standards and Technology (NIST) uh, in Gaithersburg, and I worked on a project in the Applied and Computational Mathematics division there. And it was a great opportunity to work in a research environment versus perhaps like a software development environment. At Montgomery County Public Schools, I worked with the Web Services team. And I did a site redesign for Bannockburn Elementary School, uh, which is live right now. Cougar Software in Virginia, um, they did a lot of like software for like military corporations and that kind of stuff. So I got to do a lot of like hands-on, like really high-def programming, and that was really cool. I got to actually do and produce some stuff that was actually in like Marine Corps code. The National Institute of Standards and Technology (NIST), and I worked in the biometrics group and made a robot to automatically test fingerprint scanners. I wrote a program to control the robot and I learned how to make fake fingerprints and how to use 3D printers. Imagine If Inc., which develops hotel finding apps, and I did Python coding there for their mobile app and their web app. Uh, technology is all around us. It's something uh, nowadays you're definitely not going to be able to avoid. Uh, computer programmers make a lot of money. I think it's a really great experience. You learn a lot from it and it really will help you in the future because technology is everywhere and if you don't know technology, you're lost in this world. Um, I think an eighth grader should join AOT because there's lots of mentors to help you through. You build a strong connection with your teachers and just have a stronger understanding of technology. The teachers are really dedicated. Um, they'll really help you with your coursework. Um, and it's a great way to stand out from the crowd because AOT is uh, relatively small compared to the rest of the school. I think if you have any interest in computer science at all, the AOIT program is a great way to figure out if you want to pursue a, a computer science profession or degree or not. And also, if you don't want to pursue computer science, it's a great way to get work experience through your internship. Eighth graders should join AOIT just because, like, you, especially for me, like you don't know 
what you're gonna, if you're gonna like something if you don't try it. Um, I think as an eighth grader, it's good to join AYT because it really opens a lot of doors for your future. Like, I definitely would not have had the internship that I had if I wasn't in AYT, and I definitely would not be going to the school where I was going if I wasn't studying computer science. I think it's just, this is a great experience for incoming freshmen because it really puts you like on the right path if you want to do computers in the future. And also the internships give you lots of experience, and plus me, you might get paid too. If you're even remotely interested in computers or you've ever been interested in your phone or anything like that, then you should definitely take AYT. It's, it's a great way to, I, I don't even know what to say. You can pick whatever you want out of that. <laughs>